Yeah, it's got a Hemi. Yeah, right. Um, we're going to be doing a little muscle car 101 today. It's a beautiful day out here, and we decided that we've had so many requests from the last burnout that we did a week ago with our 70 GTO that we do a muscle car 101 session of how to do a burnout. Uh, now, we picked a car. This is a pretty rare car. It's a 67 Pontiac Beaumont that was made in Canada. It's a four door. It's got a 283 two barrel carb with a power glide transmission. This is not a car that you would expect to be able to do a burnout. But I tell you what, if you know how to do a burnout properly, you can do a burnout anywhere, anyway, anyhow. And that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. And I'm going to show you some of the tips and some of the things that you can pick up to be able to, to make any car, I don't care what it is, if it's got a four cylinder in it, I'm going to show you how you can do a great burnout with any car, anytime, anywhere, anyhow. So one of the things I want to show you is that we have uh, some transmission fluid. Now this transmission fluid is very important because what we do with this, and this is an old racer's trick that I used to use when I was street racing. I'd carry this in my trunk of my car and when I was going to race somebody on the street, I would take the transmission fluid, pour it down the front barrels of the carburetor, keep the RPM up to about two or 3,000 RPM, pour it down it, just a little bit, maybe uh, two or three capfuls, and what it would do is clean the spark plugs and also clean the valves. If you've got a carbon up motor, it's not going to run as good as if you've got one that's free of carbon, and that's a great tip, and it works really well. So now I've already done that to this car. I've ran a little bit of transmission fluid down it. It's been sitting around for a while, so now it's running just like it's had a fresh tune-up. That's important. We've also taken the air cleaner off the car to let it breathe a little bit more, and that's going to help it to be able to do a better burnout. Now, for the cars that need a little bit of help, this is oil, folks. Now, you don't put the oil down on the engine or whatever. You take this oil, and wherever your, your powertrain, wherever your wheel is pulling, if you've got non-posi, you want to put a little oil down on the pavement. You want to pull your car right in that oil just a little bit. If you put too much, all you're going to do is be like when you're on water or ice. So you want to put a little bit down, and it helps uh, get the car, the momentum going. It helps getting the tire spin on cars that need some help or coaxing. Now, we're not going to do that with this car. It doesn't need it. Believe it or not, 283s, even two barrels, are pretty potent motors. Um, so oil is a good uh, usage for doing a burnout. And plus, once the oil gets hot, then you start getting a lot of smoke. You really want to do some super smokers. Regular old bleach. It don't have to be this brand. It can be any brand of bleach. This stuff is great because you put it down and it, it does unbelievable smoke. It makes smoke like crazy. So that's a good tip if you really want a good smoker. But again, this one we're going to do all on horsepower and tire rubber when we get to the burnout. Now, uh, another uh, two things that you can use if you got a car that really needs some help, hand cream. Believe it or not, any kind of hand cream, just put it around the tire. And that's going to help. You're going to get the tire going. It's going to start spinning. And the next thing you know, you're going to light the tire off the rim. Also, water. Water is good. You put water down. It helps you get started. A lot of the drag strips have a water box. You pull a car into the water box. You get your, your uh, burnout going. You heat up your tires. You smoke them. And you get them heated up so that they stick better so you can launch right at the, the light as soon as the light drops down to green. So. What we're going to do now, uh, we're going to uh, get the car set up on the street. Jeremy is going to photograph me inside, and I'm going to show you the technique to use. This is an automatic. Now, you can do a burnout with a stick. We don't have a stick car we're going to do this with today, but I will do it in another time so I can show you how you can use actually a stick and still do a brake torque burnout. What we're going to do is get this one set up on the street, and we're going to photograph the inside where you can see how I get the burnout started and, and the technique that I use to get it going. So hang around here for a little bit. We've got something really cool to, to show you. Now here's what we're going to do. I've got the car out here, and I'm getting ready to set up to do my burnout. You want to take the car, and you want to pull it. This is the power glide down into low, number one, okay? We've got this other door open here because we want to put some light in here so you can see what I'm going to do with the brake and the accelerator. What you want to do is hold your foot down firmly all the way to lock the brakes on the car and then you want to bring up the RPM. Now you can hear the tire is starting to spin and what we're going to do is I'm going to keep this burnout going and Jeremy is going to take and back off so he can show it. Now, 
that was a fun burnout and if you did your job right when you're doing a burnout this is the reward rubber <laughs> tire rubber you get a lot of that you can just peel it up off the street off the pavement off the asphalt and that's what we call muscle car 101 how to do a burn burnout with anything if we can do it with this four-door 283 two barrel Power Glide Beaumont, you can do it with Granny's car, you can do it with anything. Trust me. We know we've done it. We showed you how. Um, we hope too that Johnny Knoxville takes a lesson from this. Maybe he can do something like that in his show, man. He needs to do something like this. You know, it's fun doing a little burnouts and smokeouts, you know. So uh, we're gonna be doing a few more of these like this this summer. The next one we're gonna do in a muscle car 101 how to do a burnout series, we're gonna do a stick, clutch, four speed burnout which is a little bit harder to do but same principle but we'll show you how to do that on the next time around so uh, until then remember one thing keep cruising good and smoky